Welcome to Poor Painting with Ron. I hope you've been really well since the last time we saw each other. Well, today I thought I'd try something new that I haven't done before. Something that I saw somebody else doing on YouTube the other day. So it's not my own original idea, but yeah, I'll give it a go. What it is, is a swipe and balloon smash combination thing using really thin paints. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, you'll see what I mean in, in a little bit. Anyway, the, the canvas I'm using today is this 40 by 50 centimeter thin edge canvas. And as I always do, I've taped off the back with some painter's tape and put in some giant push pins to keep my canvas off the surface of the table. Now, um, for the, the swipe part today, um, in the past when I've done swipes and balloon presses, I think my paint has been too thin and I've had, oh, too thick I mean, and I've had too much paint on the canvas. It doesn't really work well for this technique if your paint's really thick or you have too much paint on the canvas. So today I'm going to use a mix that's almost as thin as the one I use for a Dutch pour. Not water thin, but, but really pretty thin. You'll see, you'll see why, how thin it is in a little bit. Now I'm going to cover my canvas with a base coat of uh, Montmartre um, Titanium White. Now for this size canvas, I mixed up 150 grams of the Titanium White, 150 grams of Flow Drop, and um, enough water to make it the, the right consistency. As I said, I'll show you that in a little bit. So I'm using that for my base, and I'm also using it for my swipe color. So the same amount of water and everything, um, same consistency, but in my swipe color, I'm going to put in a couple of drops of silicon oil right, to just help everything pop through my swipe color. So in the amount of paint that I have, so much paint, not very much, yeah, about 50 mils or so, I'll put about two drops of silicon oil, should be plenty. Right then, the colors I'm using today, uh, again, I'm mixing them up really thin. I'm going to use a, a high pigmented sort of paint. Any high pigment paint should do. Don't use the cheap ones because you may not be able to spread out the color really, really well. So I'm using Joe Sonia's today. Um, I'm using their Brilliant Magenta and some Aqua. Some, what's this one? Ultramarine Blue and some of their rich gold. Now I measured out about 20 grams of each color. They're, fit, they're really thin paints, so I only put in 10 grams of Floetrol and then about the same amount of water to get the, the nice runny consistency that I want to use today. Same sort of consistency that I would use for a Dutch pour. All right. Oh yes, yes. And then once I've swiped, I'm going to use today um, paper towel dampened with water to swipe my color with. And then I'll let it sit for about half an hour or so to cure a little bit. And then I'll get my trusty balloons and do the dangerous part, the balloon presses. Last time I did my balloon press, I had way too much paint on the canvas. And when I did the press and lifted it off, all the paint just flowed back into the middle again. So you do want it nice and thin, a nice thin layer on your canvas to be able to do the, the press and for the colors to stay where they're supposed to be. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we are ready to go. I'm not using a huge canvas today, just in case it's a big, huge disaster. Just a reasonable sized one to practice with today to get some interesting results. Now I'll show you the consistency of my paints. My base color, the white. If I dribble it off the spoon, I get a oh, teeny weeny little mound. And if I do a twirly shape, the bump stays there for about one second or so. So it's, it's really thin. I could perhaps even do it thinner than that, but 
for my practice. Yeah, we'll start with that. Now the colours, really thin. I don't think you can see a little bump if I dribble it off, off the spoon. Little twirly shape with the paint dribbling off. Maybe the paint stays on the surface like one second or so. So it is, it is really pretty, pretty thin. Okay, now before I put my paint on the canvas, I'll just mix my silicone oil into my swipe color or I'll forget. Now I could get away with one drop, but yes, yeah, so because I'm doing presses today and I don't mind lots and lots of things happening on the canvas, I'll put in two drops. A little bit of silicon oil goes a long way. And you need to mix it in reasonably well. So it's well distributed through the paint. Now I'm not going for pretty cells today. So I do need to mix it in really well. So I don't have big blobs of silicon and nothing anywhere else. Okay, that should do. Well, this is a test, so I hope it works. If it doesn't, well, we've tried. All right, now my base color. Now you could spread it out with a hair dryer. I might just get my paint spatula and spread it out and then tilt it so it's smooth. I hope I've got enough. And as I said, you don't need a, a huge amount on your canvas. Otherwise you just drown all your color. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Miss, miss, miss. If you're a neat freak, paint pouring isn't for you. I'll just tip it off. Do the corner, do the sides. Sorry if you can't see, not terribly exciting anyway. Now I don't want too much on my canvas. Or the balloon presses won't work. Okay, I'll just bring it all to the middle again. Cool, now make sure everything's covered. That is on, I'll just pick a bit off. Just dab it on with the glove. Just make sure I like to make sure everything's covered. Check this side. Let's pick a bit off there. All good. Now if your base layer was too thick, it would be too hard to spread out like this. But it, it looks nice. Now I'll just go and wash my gloves because they're gross. I'll be back in a second. So we're back again. Now, before I put the colour on, I'll just get rid of the air bubbles. Torch. Don't cook your paint. 
just go over quickly, remove the air bubbles. Okay, now I've got a little bit of stuff there. Where are my tweezers? I'll just here or something. That's better. Let's pick up a little bit. There we go. Now I'm not going to go straight across and I'm not going to cover my entire canvas. I want some negative space. So I'm going to put some colour up here and then swipe in a wiggly pattern down this way. The person I saw online on YouTube did it like that and it turned out really nice. So I shall give it a go myself. Okay, I'll start off with some gold. I've got too much, but I can save it for another painting. I won't start right at that side. Uh, will that be enough? Yeah, we'll see how that goes. And then I'll put the darker blue. So, I'll we'll do the aqua. Again, if your paint's too thick, you can't really swipe it. And then some of the pink. Hopefully I don't have too much colour. Now I've got some space there to put my white colour that I'm going to swipe with. But I'll just get my paper towel. You won't see what I'm doing, but I've got a spray bottle here and I'll just dampen the towel with the spray bottle. Just putting on the table out of your view here. Nice and damp now. You'll see it in a bit. Out my swipe colour with the silicone. I'll put a reasonable amount here. I can always tip some off if I need to. I'll just torch, get rid of air bubbles again, there we go, now my damp paper towel, you can see it's here, not dripping but it's like sort of see-through, and I'll lie it down Across all my colours like so. That's what the lady did in the video. Where do I want to finish it? Right, so I'll do a bit of a, a swirly design like so. That get rid of the towel. Oh yes, it's looking interesting. 
And I'll just help the silicon to work. silicon you don't, you don't get these cells popping up necessarily want that white space up there so I do need to tilt a little bit to the corner there and I do want to come down this way a bit because I wiped off some of the paint again okay I think we're good now what I'm going to do is let this sit for about half an hour or so and then I'll come back and do the the balloon presses so we'll see you again soon Right everyone, we're back again. It's been about half an hour and hopefully the paint is now ready to start some balloon pressing in. Some interesting um, cell action happening because of the silicon. Now I've just got my balloon here. I've just got a little one. I do have a bigger balloon but I think this one will do. And I've got some paper towels ready to clean the balloon off between presses. As I said, if you're paint is too thick it will just all flow back into the middle and you just get get a mess a mess hopefully I've just got it right to get nice um, flower designs now you don't have to be in a big huge rush the idea is to press the balloon in wait a couple of seconds and then lift it off again not that technical okay now where will I start here perhaps press in and lift off it's making the right sound so that's good and I just wipe it off press in and lift up and you get these nice slight flower shapes now if you do get a lot of paint on your balloon you can always press it down again in another spot To make another flower. I see I've got a nice pattern there. I can always press it again somewhere else. Now this may take a bit of time.
I'll leave it like like that. Um, I did want more of a, a gradual move of the colour across. It seems to be rather abrupt from the really bright to the, the not quite as bright. So I'll have to play around a little bit with the um, colours next time. Perhaps put more of the darker colours on this side perhaps and a lighter colour on the other side. But I think the overall effect is lovely. It certainly has a, a lot of a lot of promise. Um, perhaps a little bit thick there, but yeah, I can't. I don't think I can do anything about that. Now, this is very delicate and lovely, and I do like the gold up there. Anyway, I'll bring you in for a closer look. I'll just raise it up. Hopefully, you can see that. Now it will dry flat. It's a bit bumpy now. Let's have a look up here first. You can see we've got some very interesting looking flower shapes there. I'd like to try it again, changing up my colours a bit and perhaps laying them a bit differently on the canvas before I swipe to see if I can get a more even spread of colour across the canvas rather than having a big blob at one end and not too much at the other. But I do like these these delicate flowers down at this end. So what did you think of that technique? I think it certainly has real possibilities. I've, while I was tidying up, I thought of some things that I would do differently next time. For example, rather than putting all of my colour at one end and dragging across, I thought I would just dribble the colour over the entire path that I want to drag across so I get a more more even coverage of colour on the canvas rather than having one big blob of colour at one end and and not much at the other end. But I think the consistency of the paint was fine and the, the amount of paint on the canvas I had was fine. I just need to play a bit uh, with how I place my colours on the actual canvas. So you may see that next time. But anyway, if you enjoyed what you saw today, please take a moment to press the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my content, please take a moment to subscribe. Well, I hope you have a great week ahead and I look forward to seeing you again next time. In the meantime, happy painting.